DC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, it is Tuesday, so I'm a day late for Jasmine's Monday tag. I don't know, when I looked yesterday it wasn't up yet, so it doesn't matter. I'll be doing it today. So, it's as usual, five questions. And let's see. I'm looking, reading on the computer over here. So, question one. How old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? Hmm. I think I was probably... I was in grade school, so primary school, depending on which... So... I had... Let me see... Well... I don't know, between 8 and 10 probably, something like that. I'm not quite certain to be frank. Um, yeah, I don't know. Frankly, I don't know. Anywhere between, I was going to say anywhere between 7 and 10 probably, something like that. I don't really recall. Uh, I recall having, you know, the trainer wheels. But, yeah, it would have to be around that age. I know it was in grade school. Okay. Question two. Are you afraid of heights? Not really. When I say not really, is that um, I, like when I trim my trees and stuff like that, I will be on the ladders and way up and bending over. And those of you who've been following my vlogs know I make a tree vlog. I didn't actually make one really in the tree this year, but uh, usually in the other years I had trees high enough that I was way up high in the tree. So yeah, I'm not very good for climbing, but that's not a question of the heights. That's more just I'm not a very good climber, I guess, something like that. Um, I would not be really keen on working high, not because of the height, just the fear of falling, you know, so I'd have to be tied up or something. Uh, at one point in my life, I did go with some friends and we came down a cliff, uh, you know, with, what's it called, rappel? And uh, so, I mean, I was able to do that. I went hang gliding, so, I mean, I was able to jump off a cliff, so I wasn't afraid of heights in that respect. Yeah, so, overall, no, but not for anything, not for everything, I mean. Okay, question three. Which drinks do you dislike? Hmm. I'm really not a fan of uh, sweet drinks. Um, I mean, I will drink, let's say, uh, Coca-Cola or something, but definitely not my first choice. What I don't like very much are... Um, you know those drinks, I think in, in over here they're called syrup, and in, in France they're called syrup. I think in England, if I remember right, they're called squash. Uh, I don't even think you have anything, well, I don't remember us having anything similar in North America. Basically, you add a bit of syrup and then you dilute it with water. Uh, and so you have your different, uh, uh, different concentrations of drink. I, I really do not like that, but I really don't like sweet drinks all that much. Not really. Okay, let me see. Question four. What is your favorite candle scent? Overall, I hate candle scents. I mean, there is nothing I find more yucky. And let's say if you're going on a... Um, well, when we go on vacation on the East Coast in Canada or in America, you have these Yankee candle type things and so on where you go into stores and it just stinks of all type of candle scents. Some people say, oh, it's a beautiful smell. And I, I'll, I'll take that. I mean, um, I think Jasmine talked about lavender. I quite like lavender as a flower. or and It's not actually a flower, but the, the, well, the herbs, you know. Uh, I quite like that, but I just cannot... Uh, I, I really don't like candle scents. I really don't. But I know I'm an exception. A lot of people love it. 
in that respect. I'm really an exception. I don't like it at all. Uh, question five. Most public place... <laughs> oh, goodness. Most public place where you have farted. And what did you do afterwards? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I was... Uh, let me see. <laughs> I can think of a couple places. Once, well, I mean, one was probably in church, uh, uh, but one was I was in a, you know, I was in a meeting, and uh, really, I, I was stuck. I, I really had, again, it's a, it's a bit of a two -way TMI. I really had to go to the bathroom, and I wasn't able to. I was stuck, and at one point, yeah, there was a. A very aromatic fart, uh, which I managed to do in a way that nobody realized it was actually me. Uh, but the odor was definitely there, and um, somebody at one point said, "Because uh, this was actually not very far from the chemistry building." And somebody said, oh my goodness, what happened? It's, is there a reaction that went wrong? Or did something go bad? Or whatever. And, you know, I'm just kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah. And being very dumb and thinking like, is the person being nice and trying to get around? I mean, I don't know exactly. So what did I do? What did you do afterwards? That was part of the question. I did my best to hope that the smell didn't follow me around you know so I just kind of like uh, change uh, places and so on but it was a meeting you know so it wasn't so easy you know to just kind of like uh, get around and and so on you know but depending on uh, what I what I do recall is that it was a meeting where I was able like to to stand up and like go like you know and act as if I was stretching my legs or something like that yeah nothing amusing in those situations. <laughs> okay, well I guess, yeah, those are the five questions. So, Jasmine, thank you very much. Another great tag. DC signing off. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.